Hello everyone, my name is Olena and in this video we'll talk about the inverted index and how search engine databases such as OpenSearch, Elasticsearch and others use it, why we need it and how it works. I'm actually right now reading this book and at the end there is a very convenient section which is called index. This is like a map that shows which words or phrases are located on which pages. For instance, if I am searching for information on A-B tests, I should go to the page 336. And this is a very convenient and fast way to search for data. And guess what? The inverted index in search engine databases works pretty much in the same way way. But for the full picture, when we talk about data indexing, we need to start from the beginning and look at two different ways we map documents and keywords. First approach is so called the forward index. You can map each document to the set of keywords that it contains. Using this book as an example, you know that on the page uh, 157 I can find sections talking about uh, service discovery and domain name system. So in this way I can go page by page looking for what I need. Second approach is to take the data from the forward index and reverse it and create a structure that maps the keywords back to the documents. In this way, if I am looking for a particular keyword, I can find all the pages where it is mentioned. Let's put the book aside and imagine you have a website and you are in the business of cat adoption. You have a knowledge base on different cat breeds and you want to add uh, search functionality to your website to help others to find most relevant breeds based on the provided characteristics. Here is the information you have and each cat breed is stored as a document. And you have information on different habits, appearances, behavior and demands. Uh, first step would be to create a forward index, mapping the breed to a set of keywords. Here you can see that CMEs has a slick, uh, slender body, pointed ears, blue eyes, and it is very, very vocal. Using this forward index, we can now build the inverted one. For this, we will reverse the data and map each keyword, meaning each individual cat characteristics, back to the document back to the breed. So now when looking for a cat that is both intelligent and playful, you don't need to read information of all the breeds, but you just check two items, intelligent and playful, and do an aggregation on them to find an overlap. This is significantly more efficient than finding the information using forward index. And for those of you who love to judge performance from the point of view of time complexity, the search using forward index will be O from N since we have to go through all the documents to find what we need, but the inverted index is just O from 1 because we use HashMap to go directly from the characteristics to the set of documents that contain it. Obviously, preparing an inverted index requires more effort, data must be analyzed beforehand so it doesn't come for free. In conclusion, let me show you an example of inverted index. I have two documents. The first one is CMEs and we have the description that it's a breed known for its distinctive coloring and bright blue eyes. And we have also information about Persian cat. It is a breed known for its long fluffy fur. The inverted index may look like this. It will have a list of terms and for every term, for every word that we encountered in the description box, we have information in which documents it can be found. For example, the word breed was found in the document number one and document number two, and it has actually the same position in both documents. Same for known, uh, but the word distinctive is only found in the first 
document. Sometimes you find the same word in both documents multiple times, for example, cat. So our search engine database knows for sure that we are talking about cats and not dogs. Admittedly, the real inverted index within Lucene will look very different, not designed for comfortable human reading. It will be a complex hash map optimized for fast data retrieval. I hope this helps to understand inverted indexes. Let me know your questions in the comment section below and see you in the next videos.